we are going to have a look at eggs. Eggs are the perfect package for the baby chick that's going to grow inside. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, have a really close look at an egg. It might get a bit messy. Make sure you've got lots of tissues around ready to mop up any spills. So first I want you to do is take your egg and have a look at the shape of it. Is that like a circle or not? What do you think? Okay, tell your grown up that's with you what you think that shape is. Okay, turn it around in your hand. Is it smooth or is it quite rough? And <clears throat> what colours are it? Is, it? is it the same colour as if you've got a friend there or if you've got a box of eggs? Have a look, are they all exactly the same colour or not? Mine's actually got writing on because this explains about the best before date on my egg. So this shape we call an ovoid, okay? And between different sorts of birds, eggs can be a totally different shape. Chicken's eggs tend to be ovoid. This is very, very smooth. And my one's sort of a brown color, but if I look to other eggs, you can get white eggs, you can get um, different shades of brown. So that's our egg. Which end do you think is the top of the egg? Okay, so most people think of the top of the egg as the pointed end. There isn't actually a top to an egg because it's so round. Um, when it's lying in the nest, it tends to be horizontal. But the eggs won't stay still. The mums will actually turn them over because um, they want the egg to be warm on all sides. You know yourself, if you press your hand against the radiator, the front of your hand gets warm, but the back of your hand is cold. To get the back of your hand warm, you'd have to turn your hand around. So we're going to take our egg and we're going to crack it open and have a little look inside. Now, when you crack an egg open, don't go mad. Don't really smash it because even though they are quite strong, when um, you do a sudden um, movement on them like this, they're fragile and they'll break very easily. Now I've been told, and I don't know if it's right or not, that if you do just two um, knocks on the side of your plate, then the egg breaks more cleanly. If you do more, then you get lots of little bits of showing. So we don't want that. So we're just going to do two sharp wraps. Okay. And you can see straight away, can you see all the lines? Did it break? in one long line. Now, if you're like me, I've got lots of crazy little breaks all over it, and that's quite important. Now, you might at this point want to get your mums and dads just to help you, but I'm just going to put my finger very gently in. I don't want to break anything that's inside because I want to have a good look. I'm just gonna pull the two ends apart. There we go. And there we go, I've got my egg here, the shell part, and I've got the inner part of the egg just there. So we've got the shell, and we've got what we call the white of the egg, and the yolk, and we're going to talk about the other bits that we can see on the egg. But at the moment, what I want to do is I really want to concentrate on your egg shell, okay? So if you look, okay, you'll see that the eggshell seems to have a lining in. We call this a membrane. And particularly, can you see here, right at the bottom here, if I just push my finger here, there's almost like a little air cushion just here. Have you got one in your egg? If you can find it, just very gently press it like this. It's just like a little balloon almost at the end of your egg. Now, if you look, if I turn it around, the air cushion is at the blunt end, not the pointy end of the egg, okay? So we call that the air sac, and that's very, very important. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my egg so you can see, and I'm just going to very carefully try and take some of the shell off, 
and see what's underneath the shell. Okay, it's quite tricky. You've got to be very careful with it because it's very delicate. I don't want my little bit. Can you see? Um, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to get the shell in my egg because I do want to use it afterwards because I love scrambled eggs. So if I just pull it here, I wonder if you can do this too. Can you see, if you look closely, there's like a skin, a white skin. This is the membrane and it's so important for this egg. This membrane here is very like our skin. It stops germs getting in the egg and to the chick that would be growing inside. So this membrane, really, really important. The shell itself is something called porous. What do I mean by porous? Well, porous means that it'll let liquids in, in through it and it will also let air in and out through it. So with that liquid, that water, okay, and with the air, germs could pass through. So by having this membrane, okay, it stops germs getting through. Now, the other important thing as well is this membrane here is a bit waterproof, so it stops a lot of moisture getting out. If a lot of moisture got out of the egg, then the poor little chick inside would die. So when the egg is laid, it's just come out of the hen, the mum, okay? And it is really, really quite warm. As it comes out, it's a lot warmer than the air around it. So what actually happens is the egg cools down. As it cools down, it draws in air and that air gets stuck in that little sac there. It's trapped between the outer part of the shell and the inner part just there, okay? So that now we've got that little air sac and that's really, really important. That's going to be the first breath of the chick when it, it starts to hatch out of the egg. So there we go, we have the shell and the membrane. And now we are going to have a look at the white of the egg. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to look at the egg in the bowl and we're going to look at the white, like I said. So if you have a good look inside your bowl, and this is why I wanted you to use a colored bowl because this shows up a lot more clearly. You can see sort of like a watery liquid all the way around the middle yellow bit of your egg. And if you look very closely, can you see you've got two sorts of what we call the white of the egg. No, it doesn't look white at the moment, it's very clear. But when you cook it, it will turn white. This is called the albumum of the egg, okay? So you get a runny part and a more viscous or sort of jelly-like inner part. So what's that doing there? Well, for one thing, it's surrounding that yolk. The yolk is where most of the food is for the chick. There is a bit of food in for the chick in the white of the egg. Um, we call it protein, but most of that white, 90% of it is actually water. And part of it is it's just supporting that grown chick right in the middle of the egg, okay? The other thing, it's got that water content, so the water's there for the chick when it develops. So that is the white of the egg, two different sorts, like I said. And now we're going to look at the yolk. So we're gonna have a good look at this yellow yolk in the middle. The yolk is the main food for the growing chick inside. Um, it's mainly fat, this is why so many people like to eat the yolk of the egg rather than the white. So if we have a closer look, can you see this white strand that runs across? And then if you look, this is like a fluffy bit on the end. That's called the chalaza, okay? And what it is, it's like a mucus. It's a strand of mucus in the egg. And the whole purpose of that is to keep that yolk in the middle of the egg, okay? If that yolk's in the middle of the egg, then it's going to help protect that chick. The chick doesn't want to be near the edge of the egg, it's closer to infections, and if the egg gets knocked, it's more likely to get injured. So what I want to do is have a look on the yolk itself, there should be a white disc called the germinal disc. 
And we're just going to see if we can find it. It's very tricky because I don't want to break my yoke, but I want to turn it over at the same time. So here we go. Ooh, just there. Ooh, I'm like, yes, I just found it just here. If I just turn it round. There. It's very hard to see because it's very shiny here. So that's called the germinal disc. Okay, and that's where the embryo would start developing from. Just there. And that germinal disc needs to be kept up towards the top of the egg. It needs to be kept warm. So there, your chalazers will be making sure that always the germinal disc comes to the top of the egg so it's going to be nice and um, nearest to the, to the mum's tummy so it keeps it really nice and warm. So now we've had a really good look at the egg and we've found out the different parts of the egg. I've got a bit of a challenge for you here because um, I've got a sheet with those key words in and um, little arrows on for the diagram. So it's just a case of either writing the words out again or cutting out and sticking these words next to the right part of the body. So I'll just go through those words. So we've got the egg white, just there. We have the yolk, the shell. I've called this a shell membrane. It's a membrane, can you remember that skin on the egg? Okay. We have the air cell or air pocket, the chalaza or chalazy, if it's plural, okay and the germinal disc. And the germinal disc, can you remember, was where the, it's, it's really where all the female information is to, for the chick that's going to grow. The one thing I wanted to go back to was when we talked about the um, little air pocket here, as a chick develops, okay, obviously it's going to be using up um, some of the yolk and things the air pocket actually gets bigger gradually. And one of the ways that people who um, have chicks that they're trying to hatch, when they're incubating them, that's when the mum's not there, they're using a machine to keep the eggs warm and turn them. To find out how old and what stage the chick is inside the egg, they do something called candling. So they take the egg, the complete egg, and they hold it over a light and they'll actually see the air pocket. You could have a go with this, with your eggs there, okay? Um, and it's how big, as the chick gets older, that air pocket gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So they can tell what stage the chick is inside and when it's most likely to hatch. So that's something called candling. And it was done a long time ago. You could tell it was done a long time ago because it's using the term candles and candles were the source of light a long time ago. So that is my challenge for you to finish this little diagram or you can even draw your own one and put little labels on it.